Have you ever pondered the impact of one man, Adolf Hitler, on the course of history? A complex figure, Hitler's life began in the quaint town of Braunau am Inn, Austria. Born into the humble family of Alois and Clara Hitler, his early life was not particularly remarkable. School wasn't a resounding success for young Adolf, he was a bit of a dreamer, more interested in the arts than academics. Still, his father, a stern civil servant, had other plans. This tension between father and son would influence Hitler's early years and shape his outlook on authority. After his father's death, Hitler moved to Vienna, a city steeped in culture and art, which he adored. But Vienna was also a city of stark contrasts, where Hitler experienced hardship, rejection, and the bitter taste of poverty. It was here that his political ideologies began to take root, fueled by resentment and disillusionment. As we delve into the life of this man, we begin to see the formation of a character that would later shake the world. From a struggling painter to the Chancellor of Germany, how did such a transformation occur? Adolf Hitler's journey from obscurity to infamy is a tale of ambition, manipulation and sheer force of will. In his early years, Hitler was a frustrated artist, struggling to make ends meet in Vienna. Repeatedly rejected from the Vienna Academy of Fine Arts, he lived in homeless shelters and sold postcard-sized paintings to survive. But these hardships did more than just toughen him, they also shaped his worldview, leading him to develop a deep-seated resentment for the established order. World War I offered Hitler a new path, he served in the German army and was decorated for bravery, but the war's end left him disillusioned with the Weimar Republic. He believed Germany had been betrayed, and this sense of betrayal fueled his entry into politics. In 1919, Hitler joined the German Workers' Party, a small political group in Munich. His fiery speeches and charismatic presence quickly captured attention, and within a short time, he became the party's leader. The group, later renamed the National Socialist German Workers' Party or Nazi Party, became a platform for Hitler's radical ideas. In 1923, Hitler, along with other Nazi Party members, attempted to seize power in the Beer Hall Putsch. This failed coup resulted in Hitler's arrest, but it also turned him into a national figure. While in prison, he penned Mein Kampf, a manifesto outlining his vision for Germany and his virulent anti-Semitic beliefs. On his release, Hitler worked relentlessly to rebuild the Nazi Party. Through a combination of charismatic oratory, propaganda and political maneuvering, he managed to consolidate power. In 1933, he was appointed Chancellor of Germany, marking the beginning of a dark chapter in world history. Hitler, once an unknown painter, had now emerged as a formidable force in German politics. His rise to power was a chilling reminder of how charisma and demagoguery can exploit a nation's fears and prejudices, leading it down a path of destruction. With power in his grasp, Hitler began to implement his vision for Germany, but at what cost? As Chancellor, Hitler wasted no time in implementing policies that transformed Germany into a totalitarian state. The Enabling Act of 1933 gave him the power to enact laws without the involvement of the Reichstag. This move effectively put all legislative power in his hands, paving the way for his autocratic rule. Under Hitler's reign, the concept of a single-party state was birthed, with the Nazi Party at the helm. Political opposition was silenced either through intimidation, imprisonment, or outright murder. The infamous Night of the Long Knives in 1934 saw the purge of key figures within the Nazi Party, who Hitler perceived as potential threats to his rule. But Hitler's reign of terror didn't stop at political suppression. His deeply rooted anti-Semitism led to the systematic persecution of Jews. The Nuremberg Laws stripped Jews of their rights, and the horrific Kristallnacht, or Night of Broken Glass, saw violent attacks on Jews and their property. These events marked the beginning of the Holocaust, one of the darkest chapters in human history. Then came the start of World War II. Hitler's aggressive foreign policy and expansionist ideology led to the invasion of Poland in 1939. This was the straw that broke the camel's back, leading Britain and France to declare war on Germany. What followed was a global conflict that lasted six years, claimed millions of lives, and left a permanent mark on the world. Throughout the war, Hitler's thirst for power remained unquenched. He continued his ruthless policies, leading Germany and the world into further chaos and destruction. This was a leader whose reign was marked not by prosperity and peace, but by terror, suppression, and an insatiable hunger for power. Hitler's reign was marked by terror, destruction, and an insatiable hunger for power. The man who once held the world in his grip met a tragic end. But what led to this downfall? You may wonder. 
It was a culmination of factors, a series of events that spelled the end of an era. As World War II raged on, Hitler's physical and mental health began to decline. His once fiery speeches became less frequent, his public appearances dwindled. His paranoia and erratic behavior increased, further isolating him from the world and his own ranks. Meanwhile, the tide of the war was turning. The Nazis were losing territories they had once easily conquered. The Allies were pushing them back, inch by inch, country by country. The once seemingly invincible Third Reich was crumbling, and with it, Hitler's dreams of world domination. Hitler, once a commanding figure on the world stage, was now confined to his bunker. His world had shrunk to a few stark concrete rooms beneath the ground. His dream of a thousand-year Reich had turned into a nightmare of defeat and despair. He clung to the illusion of victory, issuing orders to armies that no longer existed, refusing to admit defeat. But reality could not be denied. His once loyal followers started to desert him. His trusted allies started to question his leadership. His world was falling apart. As the allies closed in on Berlin, Hitler made his final decision. He would not be captured. He would not face the humiliation of defeat. On April 30, 1945, Hitler committed suicide in his bunker, leaving behind a world forever scarred by his actions. His death marked the end of an era, an era of unprecedented destruction and loss. Hitler's reign of terror had come to an end, but the impact of his actions would ripple through history for decades to come. Adolf Hitler, the man who changed the course of history, left behind a world forever marked by his actions. His name remains synonymous with absolute power, extreme ideology, and unimaginable cruelty. The legacy of his reign serves as a stark reminder of the dark side of humanity, a lesson we must never forget.